brought to you by Diamond P Industries, an American manufacturing company making parts for Americans by Americans. Garen Phillips here today, and I want to take time in this video to explain how cores and core boxes work with patterns and making a mold. Um, it's very difficult to explain to people who've never been around doing this and how it works without them actually seeing it. And I never really understood it until I actually started molding and making cores and stuff. Um, so I'm going to explain it and bear with me if you don't understand it. At the end of the video I will show how we make uh, molds start to finish through um, our foundry and how we've been doing it for the past 50 years. And once you see it, you should be able to understand it. This is the tooling that I've been making of the 671 supercharger. Um, this is the pattern and these are the core boxes. And how this works is this box will be filled with sand and that box will be filled with sand and then the two pieces of sand will be glued together and then when we make the mold from the pattern the sand that uh, we made from the core boxes will be set inside of the mold and then the uh, mold will be closed and we'll pour the metal once this uh, part has been cast and we knock it out of the mold the sand that was made in the uh, core boxes will still be stuck inside of the casting. What we'll do is take the casting and uh, put it on a machine and the machine will vibrate and break the sand up so we just uh, knock the uh, core out of the part and this is called the knockout. Um, and then we'll be left with a casting that has uh, been hollowed out so it saves a lot of machine time and uh, a lot of extra material that we don't have to cut away and reduces the overall cost of the, pat of the casting. And for the core prints, <coughs> how these work is that when we make this and it's sat into the uh, mold, these faces, and there's also faces on the other side, but I can't show them to you because it's sitting on a uh, table and it's really heavy. Um, these faces will hold the core in place from the top and bottom. So this face and this face are perfectly the same. Uh, there's no tolerances in between each other. There is a tolerance between this face and this face. I think I made it about 60 thousandths or 0 0.060. Um, and this face and this face are I think 15 thousandths or 0 0.015 from each other on the core boxes of the pattern. That way when the molder sits the core down into the mold, he has a little bit of tolerance just in case he doesn't sit it quite right and you don't want him to knock sand. I also want to take the time to explain how a core, uh, a loose piece in a core works. <laughs> um, when this is filled with sand, as you can see on these loose pieces, this is actually a negative draft it's angled this way instead of this way uh, so it's negative to the parting line of the core box and we had to do it this way because the center line of the bores has positive draft all the way down um, so in order to get negative draft in the core we had to make these loose pieces and the loose pieces are made with positive draft in relation to the core box uh, parting line. And what that will do is when this is filled with sand, the sand will harden. Then when we uh, flip the box and dump it, the uh, loose pieces will actually fall out with the sand. And then we just pull the loose pieces off because I don't know if you can see it, but this actually has a one degree draft this way so that when the loose pieces are dumped and they're sitting there with the sand, we just pull them out this way and then put them back in the uh, core box and make another core. Now we like to stay away from loose pieces because uh, you probably can't see it in the video, but this moves a little bit and while it's not a lot, it still can affect the uh, core when we put it in the mold and cause core shift and it could cause a bad casting not too worried about it with this pattern, it's pretty solid. Um, but the reason that we did this, uh, we tried to stay away from loose pieces, but the reason that we had to use a loose piece is because we want to run this entire casting in the drag. So when this is made in the mold, it will actually be sitting upside down in the mold. 
So this will be the bottom of the mold, and this will be the top of the mold. And the reason that is is because when uh, with aluminum, when you cast it, all the porosity and the oxides and all the bad stuff will float to the top of the mold. Um, and the only other way that we could have avoided loose pieces is if we split the parting line through the center of the part. So half of it will be sitting on the drag and the other half will be sitting on the cope, which is the top side of the mold. And by doing it that way, we could have avoided the loose pieces and not had all this right here. This would have all been uh, perfectly round, but you'd have a bad side of the casting with a lot of porosity and oxide. And it also uh, is hard to polish uh, aluminum when you have a lot of porosity in it. So it's always common practice to make a part in the drag if you want to polish it or have a really good casting. All right, now it's time to make some cores. Taking the core boxes up to our uh, air set station. The sand that we are using is a silica based sand uh, that we add a chemical agent to and it sets over time when air is in contact with it. It takes about 10 minutes per core, but the plus side of this chemical is it's extremely easy to knock out. When we made these cores and uh, made the castings, we actually didn't even have to hook up the supercharger uh, castings to a knockout machine. We just hit him with a hammer a few times and the sand fell apart. And here you can see the loose pieces I was talking about being dumped out of the core box and pulled apart. Alright, now the uh, molder is setting the core into the mold, but uh, part of the video that you didn't see was the cores being put together and glued together, and these are actually been hollowed out a bit to make it easier to knock out. Now just need to pour the metal, wait for it to cool, and shake it out. The black that is on the casting is just green sand. It'll be cleaned off when it's uh, ground and shot blast. But you can see the core sitting inside of the casting. And I actually didn't get the video knocking out the core, but all we did was take a hammer and hit it a few times. Uh, but that's how a core works. So if you like seeing how things are made, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be making a lot more videos. If you want to help me make more videos, you can visit our website at diamondp.com. And if you want to show your support for an American manufacturing company, uh, you can like us on Facebook. Just search Diamond P or Diamond P Racing. Yeah, I just use a little hammer. <laughs>